Hello everybody and welcome to the final episode on Lone Oak Farm. It has been such an incredible series because it has been an incredible map and we really do need to wrap things up now at episode 45. As explained in the previous episode, it has to be done really because there's nothing else I can really start and finish before episode 50. Uh, not without rushing it anyway. And also, it is about time that we moved on to Shamrock Valley. So I think, um, yeah, 45 episodes has been enough for the time being. As I've said before, if we do have time before the release of FS19, we'll do a season 2, or a series 2. But I think it's unlikely, due to the fact that uh, FS19 isn't that far away. It's even so close that I can very confidently say that Shamrock Valley is going to be the final Let's Play I do with Seasons, because I think that Let's Play will run into November. I can't see any reason why it wouldn't do. Ah, oh, look at that. The timing is just appalling. Okay, so let's get this sold. It is the remaining barley from the big harvest we had. Probably by now it's not going to be worth a great deal. But I can't really just leave it here. And uh, actually the trailer needs to be returned. Uh, because it is leased. Okay, there we go. Still 40,000 though, and it wasn't even a full load, so that is impressive. Okay, so I'm going to just sort things out off screen. Uh, what I need to do is get the trailer load of potatoes and sell that too, although we did have a bit of an issue with the potatoes over there. And I'm going to return this trailer over at the store. Wrong side of the road. 45 episodes and I'm still on the wrong side. That's what living in the UK for over 20 years has done for me. Here we are. So I did actually find the cause of the lag and it's very strange. It was the potato harvester. The reason why it's strange is because as you'll know that is a base game machine and I've never had a problem with it before. I even saved the game, restarted the game, and it was still laggy. I had to actually remove it for it to uh, become a good frame rate again. So, no idea. I really don't understand it. Anyway, here we are. The potato lorry has arrived. It's time to gradually unload it. We're going to have to keep coming back here, I suppose, throughout the video. Emptying a bit at a time, unless I can just do a great big pile. It may or may not work. <laughs> we'll have to see. It's pretty good. Okay, so uh, yes, we'll do it in two halves. Although that is that is working. We'll leave it to it. The other big job that we really need to do today is to feed the cows as much food as we possibly can do, because absolutely everything that we give them will be transferred to Shamrock Valley. So if we gave them a full load of power food, for example. That will be coming with us, along with water, silage, and straw. So yeah, it sounds like a logistical nightmare to get all that to Ireland from the USA, but actually, it's going to be easier than you think. It's brilliant. I don't know why I said that it's easier than you think, because you know perfectly well that I just transfer the information in the XML file. So, ignore me. Anyway, let's do this. Let's do a power food mixture first of all. It's going to be... Uh, well, I, I usually do four. Four hay bales and then um, three straw bales and obviously the rest to the top with silage. It does work very well. So three is the maximum if I'm using the auto load. This is why I don't tend to use the auto load with the hay. But it's brilliant for the straw. So yes, load number one. Let's just zoom out a bit. There we go. Uh, there we go. Good. Yeah, so if you're into the Model Farm series, and you're probably thinking, what? The Model Farm series? That You mean that series which you ended about a year ago? Yeah, <laughs> that one. I never ended it. I just um, didn't have time for it. But I have actually just revived the series. And, well, hopefully, if I went to plan, there was a video yesterday. So, if not, it might be on today. But if you check out Dagwin Extra that is where you'll find it. So if you are interested in the Model Farm series, uh, then that is the place to go to. It is exactly what it sounds. It is a model farm. So model scenery, model tractors, 1 in 32 scale. All very exciting stuff. 
It's amazing. It's actually a really popular series, and I didn't stop it out of choice. It really was just because I didn't have the time. I couldn't really do, well, my job, farming simulator, and the model farm series, among other stuff, um, and basically keep the quality in every series. It probably would have been possible, but it would have meant rushing something. R either rushing the farming simulator videos, which would have not been worth it, or obviously doing shortcuts with the model farm series, or working badly in real life, which would have not gone down well. So, yes. <laughs> yeah, I, I decided just to put it on hold, even though uh, I wasn't too sure when it was going to return. And, yeah, even though I've just put a video on, hopefully, uh, it doesn't mean that the series is going to go on forever. And it doesn't mean that the series is going to have another episode next week. It could still be a month or two between episodes, but hopefully not. I'll try my best to keep it going as much as possible. Okay, that should fill it. Oh, it didn't. Wow. 95% full. Maybe I've gone... Did I put an extra hay bale in? Not sure, but I don't need to. So that's alright. Just keep going with the silage. It's about 5% of the mixer, so... Not very much at all. What would it be? Uh, let's just think. Um, I'm not too sure, actually. I can't remember the capacity. Was it 40,000 litres? Oh, no, 42. I think. Anyway, yeah, just top it up. 1,000 litres or so. And over to the cows. This is the problem. When I'm trying to tell a story, I never really concentrate on what I'm doing. So I can't remember if I have put a certain bale in or not. Is there space that way? No, no space that way. But yeah, Shamrock Valley is going to be a Seasons Let's Play, which is always tough. Um, I love Seasons, but I do find it very hard to succeed when doing a Let's Play, because obviously you need to be able to keep the series interesting, but keep, for example, feeding the animals every day. So I'm going to try my best again. But we will be starting off with more machinery than you might expect because otherwise we're going to be in that position again where I say, oh, I wish we could do this particular job but we just don't have the money to buy this particular machine. So, yes, this time we will have the money. And it's not like it's going to be cheating because we actually have a fortune which will be carried over from this map but just not the six million or something which we, we will potentially have. Um, because, yeah, this has been quite an extreme situation. Uh, yeah, this map we have generated a lot of money and the machinery is huge. Okay, back for another load. We didn't have enough hay bales, so I really don't know what this is going to be. Um, as you can see, it's definitely short on the hay, but it might just uh, separate the ingredients and give the cows a bit of everything, so they get a bit of straw for bedding, which would be strange because it's already in the mix, but it also there might be some power food, and silage is its own category, so everything will be used in its own way. I just don't know if it would be power food. Probably not. I'm really quick, we might see. Yes, yeah, so it's put silage into there. Straw might be separate too. 
We do have more straw to give them. And some grass. Okay, so yeah, the straw is left behind. But we can still give it to them separately. That goes into that category. But things are looking very healthy, except for water. Um, I think what I'm going to do is another full load of silage. And then we'll probably give them some grass bales. And really, there we're doing pretty well after that. And water, of course. At least we've actually got through nearly all of the silage we put into this pit. I know that we do have an entirely... Well, actually, no, no, not an entirely full pit, but a very full pit over at the BGA. Thing is, though, we just don't have the time to sell it. So you'd have to go into the farm profits. There is a lot of money over there. I'm assuming it is fermented. In fact, we'll have to go over there just to take a look. As we did spend so much time doing that. But first, we have a full load of silage here. 42,000 litres. And we might, for the first time, actually fulfil the silage category. That would be brilliant. Here we go. So much. I need to... Uh, Reduce the amount of cows over the next series even more, because the amount of manure we're getting is just uncontrollable. We we really can't keep on top of it. So I want to just keep a really manageable size or a manageable herd. How's it doing? Ah, oh, look, so close. It's not totally filled it, but it's pretty good at 104,000. So next we'll do a few straw bales, some grass bales, and we'll finish off with giving the sheep and the cows some water. We'll go over to the BJ on our way up to the sheep farm, which will be in a few minutes time. Right, so we have clearly a lot of grass bales in storage. Um, yeah, in seasons you can't really store the grass bales, although you might be able to in the bale store, which is a mod. So I've picked up four, hopefully they're not going to slide off or topple over. And we'll put all of these into the trough and we'll see how many more they want after that. This is, well it was showing 12,000 then, but I think they're four each. So four, eight, 12, 16. 16,000 litres. No! Ah! Whacked in the face by a bale. The pain. Right, there you go. Take it. Take it. It's beginning to wonder if they didn't want that one. Well, they can definitely have this one. And then we'll go and get some straw. And then we'll go to the sheep. Via the BGA. And via the uh, reservoir, actually. Because we do need to get some water. There. Right, so that's looking fantastic. Now for the bales, straw bales. How are we doing? Pretty much full. So yeah, if we had had more hay bales, we could have fulfilled the power food as well. Oh well. Right, so... Where did I put the water tanker? It could actually be over at the sheep farm already. Oh, no. Here it is. So I know it's a big mistake doing it with this tractor, but I think we know the knack now, so we can still use this tractor when filling it up. And we'll probably take some grass bells with us, but yeah, first things first, over to the cows. I don't think 11,000 litres is going to do it, but at least they've got something to be getting on with. Uh, I doubt the gate's open either. Here we go, right. Let's get that thing open. Oh, it's two. They're both shut. Luckily, the sheep don't require as much. Thirty-two thousand litres. In case you are wondering, <laughs> it does say on the back. 
Right, how are we doing with that? More than I expected. That has gone up much more than I expected. It must be because we reduced the amount of cows we've got. So we get some of these bales. It will only be three, but there might already be some up there anyway. Now, to the pond and then to the BGA and then over to the sheep farm. Yes, yeah, so we know the way to do this. Definitely not at this end because you just get stuck. But if you go a little bit further down, it's much shallower. And we should be able to refill without spinning our wheels. I would hope. Well, actually, it's a bit shallower there as well. That might be the best place. At least we have some weight on the front. The bales. Uh, still not in enough. Wait, how deep does it want to go? There we go. <laughs> it did have the refill thing a while ago, I think. Okay, full load. Yeah, as I was saying, the bales on the front should keep the front axle down. That is the issue we had before. Although it's still tough, but it's going to do it. Hmm. Well, that tanker is incredibly heavy, so I wouldn't really expect it to be able to do it anyway. It is impressive. Right, here we are then. First stop, the BGA. We should be able to see a fairly impressive pile of fermented silage. Well, actually, it'll probably have the cover over, so it'll still be uh, covered with a white blanket. Yep, there we go. But still, I think it's done. Fermenting silage 0%? What? <laughs> I think it's because it's done. There we go. Yeah, it's opened. So it's finished. 703,000 litres. I don't know what that converts to, but that is a serious amount of money. Let's just see. Silage. 726. It's worth a lot. So I would say it's easily half a million dollars here. Yeah, so the silage which is here will be sold, but obviously you won't see it being sold, and it will go towards machinery and fields on Shamrock Valley. I think we're going to have a lot of fields, and we're not going to be short on them, which I'm very pleased about, because the thing which I've always found in doing a season's let's play is because we're so busy, we can't really generate that much money, so we're always stuck in the initial fields, the ones you start off with. So being able to start off with maybe even half of them on the map, that's going to be good. We're going to be able to really explore the map more, and keep a bit of variety instead of working on the same few. Although, I can't remember how many you do start with. But I'll make sure we start off with a decent amount. Okay, so the sheep farm is just here. We'll give them these three bales and as much water as they can handle. They probably have some wool, but equally, that will be sold and added to our bank account. The same applies for the sheep. Anything they've got will be transferred over. Okay, so like there is the grass bales. Take it, eat. It must be full. I'm assuming it is. Wow, and water. Yeah, one thing's for sure: we've never neglected the sheep. They've always had plenty of feed. They might have run out of water once or twice, but yeah, I mean, the amount of feed we get for them makes up for it. <laughs> kind of. No, wait, that doesn't work. They need lots of water. This is a bad position to be in. Got that sorted. How much do they want? I would hope quite a bit. You make it lighter for going back over to the cow's farm. Uh, 26%. Okay, right, to the cow farm and we'll top their trough up too. This is all going to be so green. And here we are over at the cows, topping up their water as well. That's pretty much full. Let's just take a look. Yep, look at that. So this is all going to be transferred over 103 cows, 105 sheep, and pretty much full in every category. So we're going to have a good start to the season's Let's Play, and that is tomorrow. 
And that is the end of this Lone Oak Farm series. It has been fantastic. Once again, Bullet Bill has uh, just produced a masterpiece. And uh, I'm very grateful for it. And I know that a lot of other people are too. So absolutely fantastic all round. So there we go. Until next time, which will be Shamrock Valley. See you again very soon. Bye for now.